I like it. Okay, so you think you are nervously sitting at home watching the Nuggets. Well, so is the team's former coach, George Carl, who spent eight years in Denver, never won a title, and he's made Denver his home, and like the rest of us, he is hoping this is the Nuggets' year. The city of Denver has a, a rich tradition of basketball going all the way back to the ABA. George Carl can rattle off all the big names in Denver basketball history. Spencer Haywood, Alex English, David Thompson, Dan Issel, Dikembe Mutombo, Nikola Jokic, all championship quality, just no Nuggets championship title. George Carl coached the Nuggets from 2005 to 2013. Who's the best Nuggets player you coached? Uh, I've never had a scorer as good as Carmelo Anthony. And we won a hell of a lot of basketball games because of Carmelo Anthony. Anthony was a big name when he came to the Nuggets in 2003, giving the Mile High City high hopes. In a lot of ways, he's like me. The only thing lacking in his career is a championship. Carl coached seven years in Seattle, six in Milwaukee, in addition to his eight years in Denver, and he knows the pressures of the playoffs. There's going to be this big spotlight that's bigger than anything that you've ever done before, and now you've got to figure out how to win four games. And I want you to know, it's hard to do. To win four games in an NBA final, less than 10% of NBA players ever win a championship. Same for coaching, less than 10% of coaches ever win an NBA championship. Under his leadership, the Nuggets got to the playoffs five times. He also battled cancer during his Denver days. Prostate cancer in 2005, neck and throat cancer in 2010. Radiation treatment, the reason for his now raspy voice. I'm sure that that has not been an easy road for you. How did that, how did that affect dealing with cancer? How has that affected your career, your, your path in life? It makes you grow. Uh, and I learned a lot from my cancer experiences. I learned how to coach better. Hmm. I learned how to delegate better. I learned how to balance my life better. And now that he's watching in awe of Nikola Jokic, just like the rest of us, calling him the best player in the NBA, he's also watching as a fan. And Carl is content with that. I don't look back at my career with very much sadness. I celebrate my career. I wish I had a ring, uh, but I'm okay. I'm okay with where I'm at. Uh, I've been blessed by the game of basketball over and over many, many times over my career. And he's staying busy. George Carl has a podcast. He's now working on a documentary that will air on Amazon next year about the ABA and the NBA. He says there are lots of basketball stories that have not been told, and he's ready to tell them. By the way, he says Nuggets in five.